In this session, let's learn about undue retention period. We know undue retention period is the number of seconds the committed undue data is retained. And the parameter for that is undue underscore retention. Here in our example, we are saying 1800. That means the undue data is stored for at least 1800 seconds. Okay. This undue retention parameter acts a little different in auto extending undo table spaces versus fixed size undo table spaces. In a auto extending undo table space, the Oracle database retains the undo for at least the time specified in the undo retention period. And it also periodically tunes this undo retention period to meet the undo requirements. Like we learned before, Oracle constantly checks the Oracle database to see if there are any long running queries and if the undo retention period does not support that long running SQL statement, it will increase the undo retention period. Okay. In case of a fixed size undo table spaces, the Oracle database will automatically tune for the best possible undo retention period. It comes up with a good number for the undo retention based on the undo table space size and the past usage history. Okay, even though you configure undo retention for a fixed size undo table space, it is ignored. It is ignored unless you enable the retention guarantee. Okay, we will learn about this retention guarantee in the next session. But remember this point, in case of a fixed size undo table space, even though you configure the undo retention, it is ignored. It is only taken into consideration when the retention guarantee is enabled. Okay, so when configuring this undo retention parameter, check whether your undo table space is a fixed size undo table space or a auto extending undo table space. Okay. So normally, once the transaction is committed, we don't require this undo data. But Oracle maintains this undo data to support the long running queries and to enable the read consistency. Right? Yes. And also, sometimes as a Oracle DBA, you want to configure the Oracle flashback operations. So for that, you need this undo data to go back in time and get the data as of that point. Okay, so when should you configure this undo retention parameter? You should configure only when the undo table space has the auto extend option enabled or you have a lot of large object operations and it is taking time to process them. Then you need the undo retention parameter to be tuned or you want to guarantee the retention. We will learn what is meant by guarantee retention in the next session. Okay. We know how to check the undo retention value, right? How do we check it? It is using show parameter undo, right? Right now it is set to 900 seconds. Okay. What if we want to change that to 1800 seconds, which is almost equal to 30 minutes? Can we do that? Yes, it is very easy. So alter system set undo retention equal to 2400 and the system is altered let's check the parameter again and you see now the undo retention is set to 2400 okay like this depending upon the need of how much retention you need you can tweak this undo retention parameter. Okay. You can also set this in the initialization parameter file. Either you can set it in the initialization parameter file or you can use the alter system SQL statement to update the undo retention parameter. Okay.